If you're running a non-profit, charity, or want to raise funds on your WordPress site, you have probably heard of GiveWP. In today's video, we're diving deep into this powerful fundraising plugin, covering everything from features and pricing to its pros, cons, and whether it's the right fit for you. So whether you're just starting your fundraising journey or looking to level up your crowdfunding campaign, this video will be helpful. Let's get started. GiveWP is one of the most popular WordPress fundraising and donation plugins out there. It offers a professional, secure, and customizable way to raise funds online. With GiveWP, you can create powerful fundraising forms, accept payments, and manage your donors all from a single dashboard. It supports one-time donations, recurring donations, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, goal tracking, and even integrates with email marketing and CRM tools. Whether you're running a small charity or managing a large-scale crowdfunding program, GiveWP scales to meet your needs. And the best part, you can get started with their free version and upgrade only when you need more advanced features. So now let's talk about some of the features of GiveWP and how it looks like when you install it on your WordPress website. So this is one of our test WordPress websites and we have installed GiveWP. We are also using a Cadence theme because Cadence integrates really well with GiveWP. Now let's take a look at our site. This is our site, and as we just said, this is a Cadence theme. Now for features, the first feature that we want to talk about is the campaign creation. So it's the first option over here. This is where you can see and manage all your campaigns. We already have added two campaigns. We can also edit it from here. To create a campaign, we can just simply click on this Create button. We can add our campaign name. We can describe it and select a logo for it. So once you create a campaign, if we click on Edit and we can see how it looks like, this is where we can take a look at the overview of our campaign, the amounts raised, number of donations, number of donors, and we can also see our goals. So I have set our goal to $2,000. We can see a progress bar over here, and from here we can check out the goal. So all the reports are also shown over here. From the settings, we can take a look at the title, what's our campaign all about, we can add our cover image, we can take a look at the campaign goal, we can change it from here to amounts raised, number of donations, number of donors, and then we can also set our target amount from here. We can also choose the campaign theme, we can choose what colors we prefer, we can edit these as well. If we go to the form section, we can actually customize this form. So this brings us to the next feature that we want to talk about. It is the customizable donation form. You can add your campaign form from here. You can also customize the form from here. We can also take a look at the short code. So the short code for your form will be generated over here. If we click on edit, we can see how the form looks like. So the form currently looks like this. This is a simple form where our donors can decide what is their desired amount. They can also add a custom amount and they can click on the donate now button and they can donate. And we can also click on build and this is where you can actually build your form. When the form builder is opened up for the first time, a step-by-step -step guide will be launched as well. We can click on the next button and understand how this form builder works. Now this is a Gutenberg style drag and drop form builder where you simply grab the elements from the left hand side and drop it into the form. And then you can customize these elements with the given options. Now there are some advanced additional fields but these are only available in the pro version of this plugin. You can choose the design over here, you can take a look at the form, you can take a look at the header, buttons, you can customize all of these. In the general settings, we can customize the title, URL, choose the visibility of this form, and also add an excerpt. Again, we can send the new account notification, so we can notify the users that they have an account through which they can manage their donations. We can also customize the form grid. Now, if we enable this, we will be able to customize the redirect URL and donate button text for this form in the form grid. That was the form customization. The next feature I want to talk about is the donor management. With this, we have a section where we can look at all our donors and all the information will be given over here. We can take a look at our donor name, donor email address, the total amount they have given, the number of donations they made, the latest donation they made, donor type, and we can also look at the date created. This gives you a perfect place to manage all your donors. The next feature that I want to talk about is recurring donation feature. So if we go to settings, and click on the recurring donations. 
This feature, however, is a pro feature and you can only use it if you have the pro version. Now what this does is turns your one-time donor into a recurring donor with a single click. Now if we scroll down, we can notice some of the highlighted features. This adds some features through which your donors can make recurring donations much easily. As you can see from here, it provides your donors with flexible recurring donation options. You can also have recurring donors in your WordPress dashboard. You can analyze custom donations, subscription revenue reports, and you can send customized emails to your recurring donors. And this is also compatible with multiple payment gateways. So this is certainly a neat feature. And if you are building a donation site, this is something really, really important that we think you should have. But of course, this is only included in the premium version of this plugin. Now, while we're in the settings tab, let's also talk about the payment gateways as GiveWP supports many payment gateways. You can also have a uh, test mood enabled so you can test if your donation is working or not. So once it's done, you can disable the test mood and you can also choose which payment gateway you want. Currently, the PayPal standard, Stripe and PayPal donations, these are only available. If you enable this, these will become available. You can choose which one is the default one and be done with it. Then you can go to the option based form editor and here you can add a label to your gateway stripe. We can also accept offline donations and offline donation instructions. All these can be written over here. Now this plugin actually supports a lot of payment gateways. If we go to their website, we can see there are several powerful add-ons through which you can include many payment gateways. You can see there's the Blink Payment, BitPay, Stripe, Authorize.net, Molly, IATS, To Checkout, Go Cardless, Braintree, CC Avenue, Square, there are so many options. So you don't actually have to worry about payment gateways with GiveWP. GiveWP also has a neat security feature through which you can enable the honeypot field. If this option is enabled, it will add a honeypot security measure to all your donation forms, which will make your donations a lot more secured. Now we actually talked about the form customization. There are also form templates that you can use or customize. You can customize everything from here. You can customize the form display options. Now, if you're looking for donation options, you can customize the donation options from here. You can choose if you want a multi-level donation or if you want to set a donation. So you can choose a custom amount. The donation limit, the minimum limit is this, maximum limit is this. You can set all of these up from here. Now, another thing that we want to show is the donation goal. You have already seen that we can set donation goals for your campaigns. And you can also display a progress bar for that donation campaign so your donors can understand how much progress you have made in reaching that goal. In the donation goal, if you enable this you can see the goal format you can um, choose from what type of format you want if you want amount raised percentage raised a number of donations number of donors you can choose from here you can also choose the goal amount you can also choose the progress bar color and the close form so once the goal has been met if you want to close the donations, you can enable this and you can also customize the message that will be displayed once the form is closed. Now let's talk about reports and analytics. Of course, if you have a donation site, there needs to be some reports and analytics at how many donations you have received, how much progress you have made, how your campaigns are doing, how close are you to reaching your goals, how much donations have been made this month or this year. So you need a reports and analytics section. Fortunately, GiveWP gives you that reports and analytics section. From here, you can look at your reports and statistics. Now for integrations, if we switch on to the add-on section, which is a very important part of this plugin. Now the free version of GiveWP doesn't give you add-ons to work with but add-ons actually add more features to give WP. If I go to the must have add-ons here, you can see some of the important add-ons such as peer to peer fundraising, which gamifies your fundraising process and it encourages other donors to donate. There's the recurring donation, which we talked about. It increases your donations by adding a recurring donation features. You can also have donor cover fees. Now with this add-on, you can ask your donors to cover the processing fee. So if they want, they can cover the processing fee. There are other add-ons such as custom form fields, fund and designations, dedicated donations, PDF receipts and currency switchers. So all these are very important features in a donation website. Now, in case of integrations, if we go to the additional add-ons, we can see some features such as Stripe Gateway, Zapier Integration, Google Analytics, Authorize.NET Gateway. So if you are looking for integrations such as this, you of course need add-ons. 
Now, these add-ons are only available in the paid version of this plugin. Otherwise, you won't be able to use some of the most useful and advanced features of this plugin. You can get a free add-on. So if we click on get a free add-on, if you subscribe to the newsletter of GiveWP, you will have access to the annual receipt add-on, which is normally priced $149 a year, but you will get it for free if you just subscribe to their newsletter. Now, if you want to get the powerful add-ons of GiveWP, you need to purchase a plan. So there are various plans, the plus plan, pro plan, basic plan, agency plan. With any of these paid plans, you will get extra add-ons. Since we're on the topic, let's talk about the pricing of GiveWP. So we're here in the official website of GiveWP and you can see there are some plans over here. We can compare all the benefits by clicking over here, but let's just talk about these plans. The free plan, which you just saw, which we were using, gives you unlimited forms, it has Stripe and PayPal. It has the donor management feature, insightful reporting, and so much more. So we have covered most of these features and you have seen how they work. In the basic plan, which is available for $149 annually, you can get everything which is available in the free, but you also get basic add-ons. Now, what are these basic add-ons? And if we take a look at the plus plan, it also says all premium add-ons. But finally, the pro plan, it says peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. So it includes one extra add-on then plus. But what are these premium add-ons and basic add-ons? If we scroll down, we can see which are the basic and premium add-ons. The basic includes only the PDF receipts. The plus includes all these add-ons and the pro includes the one last peer-to-peer -peer fundraising add-on. So these are the add-ons that you're getting. You also get all the payment gateways and license for one site and you get priority support. With the plus plan, you get everything in basic and all premium add-ons. With it, you can also get the recurring donations, which is a very important add-on for your site. And you also get a 30-minute fundraising website audit, which is valued at $50. So this plan is available for $349 annually. The next plan and the final plan is the pro plan, which is available for $499 annually. You get everything in the plus plan, plus you get peer-to-peer -peer fundraising add-on and you get the VIP support. So these were the pricing plan of GiveWP. Now, if we talk about some pros and cons of this plugin, first of all, this is very beginner friendly. Even as a beginner, it will be really easy for you to create and manage your donation campaigns. Now, this plugin also has great support and documentations, and it is highly scalable from small to large nonprofits. And it has a lot of customizations, as you have seen. And with its advanced features and add-ons, if you get the paid versions and add more advanced features, it will actually make the donation process a lot easier for your donors. Now, if we talk about the cons of this plugin, which you might already have understood, are the add-ons. Now, this can get expensive with the add-ons as there are many add-ons and some of these add-ons are really important for building your donation campaigns. And some of the most advanced features are only available in the pro version. But if we are being honest, the free version actually gives you a lot of features for you to work with. So if you're satisfied with the free version, I think it will be best if you get the pro version of this plugin as it will unlock more advanced features for your donation site. So that brings our video to an end. We hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you are looking for GiveWP, you can check our video description for a link. Now, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. So thank you for watching. See you next time.